Hey, what's good, everybody? This is Adnar AD in the clutch. And uh, staying on the topic of NBA free agency, I want to talk about uh, Russell Westbrook re signing with the LA Clippers on a two year, $7.8 million contract. And uh, his numbers from the Clippers actually were a lot more efficient and I can argue better than when he was with the Lakers, you know, because um, his numbers were more effective than when he was with the Lakers, just, you know, what people were saying, just stat padding. So his numbers with the Clippers were uh, 15.8 points per game, 4.9 rebounds per game. 7.6 assists per game, 48.9 percentage on field goals overall, and 35.6 uh, percentage from three. A lot more better his uh, shooting numbers, especially than when he was with the Lakers. And uh, I can tell like he was a lot more happier and uh, a lot more at peace than when he was with the Lakers because he was under so much scrutiny, under so much pressure. A lot of fans were hating on him or you know telling him you know. A lot of trash you know undeservingly so i mean like the man gives it all he's got in his game you know like he he'll play through injuries you know he's a, a true hard worker he has he has the most hardened soul you know on whatever team he goes to and um does he make questionable shots yeah i mean but then again like um you know players do make you know questionable shots every now and then and like you know I just believe that because he was on the Lakers, you know, where everybody around the world is watching, you know, he had the most scrutiny and pressure around him. <clears throat> but when he was with the Clippers, you know, that pressure was off and that he was able to just be himself, be the best he can be, you know, be a leader while Kawhi Leonard and Paul George were out. And he actually improved um, for that reason. And um, it was uh, it was actually a really good thing that the Clippers re-signed him because there was talks at one point in the season um, that uh, when he was with the Lakers that after his deal that he was going to be out the league, you know, very similar to what happened to Carmelo Anthony when uh, he left Houston, where he couldn't find any team to sign him for, for a whole year, which was really sad, you know, especially how Carmelo was a, and he still is a future Hall of Famer and same thing with Russell Westbrook, especially, but Russell Westbrook has an impressive resume with a former MVP, he averaged a triple double for multiple seasons. And um, particularly his MVP season, I'll never forget, like when he averaged a triple double for the first time, he took that OKC team to the playoffs, you know, with Kevin Durant when he just um, signed with the Warriors, because I thought the, the I honestly thought the Thunder that year were going to be, you know, horrible. I thought arguably they were, I thought they were going to be a lottery team. I didn't even think they were going to make the playoffs. But Russell Westbrook actually took them to the playoffs, if I remember correctly, as a fifth seed and was able to you know just play his heart out and took that and just carry that thunder team that is something that like most most teams would be like okay you know we're not winning the championship anyway you know we just lost kd so um let's just you know let's just like cut salary let's uh let's go for a high draft pick and you know move on from here but no russell westbrook he carried them and made such history you know that I, I and a lot of people were able to see you know in our lifetimes which is amazing something that hasn't been done since uh, oscar robinson you know back in the 60s you know and admittedly you know as he averaged you know more triple doubles it did you know saturate a little bit it didn't feel as impressive like we took it more for granted but um but he overall has improved you know and i think through his maturity especially being humbled on the clippers you know, I do believe he's now not worried about his numbers anymore, just trying to be the best leader he can be. And um, he's also, you know, I'm talking about the triple doubles before I move on. Um, I do believe he's the trendsetter because before Westbrook, I mean, triple doubles, I mean, they happen every now and then, but like now because of Westbrook and his MVP season, now like every other player, every other game has a triple double of some sort. You know, he made it so common and popular. So, um, Russell Westbrook, you know, he's um he's a huge contributor. I can I can say from my end for why the NBA is what it is today. You know, with all this, uh, you know, numbers, you know, triple doubles, you know, guys going for more rebounds, guys going for more assists. You know, Russell Westbrook set that trend. You know, like he popularized it. You know, of the triple double. So I thought that was really uh really interesting and uh, made the game more entertaining. Um, does it equate to winning? Um, Yes and no, depending on the situation, but, um, you know, <laughs> it is what it is, but the NBA is a, is a business and, uh, it is, um, it's about like offense, you know, it's more marketable than, you know, all defense. And so, um, so, uh, the NBA kind of got what they wanted, you know, more, more eyeballs, you know, watching the game because they're excited to see who gets a triple double, you know, or, or who misses out by one rebound or one point or one assist or whatever the case may be. So.
yeah um yeah but uh anyway so uh yeah i'm just i'm really glad for russell westbrook overall you know i'm happy that he's in an environment where he's uh celebrated and appreciated not somewhere where he's tolerated i know that's very huge for anybody overall and um hopefully that um Kawhi leonard and paul george god willing are healthy and are back you know and uh you know they're all in on on this uh, team and especially with the possibility of uh, James Harden, you know, which I'm going to expand a little bit more on in my next video, um, possibly joining the Clippers. Um, I do believe the Clippers uh, can be a major threat. Um, health is going to be a main um, main factor because um, they've been having the talent for a long time, you know, especially with um, the duo of Kawhi and Paul. But, um, but it's always an injury or people will say the Clipper curse, you know, where like the Clippers can't make it out of second round, you know, all these other things. But like, if they're all in focus, they take care of their, their, um, their bodies, you know, make sure they're healthy, you know, throughout the regular season and just in time for the postseason. I believe the Clippers can finally make it out of the second round this season. Um, like I said, barring any injuries, because especially if everybody's like all in focused as a team, because they have the talent. Okay, talent's not a question on this on the Clippers team. The problem the problem with the Clippers team is just overall just their health and uh, just their drive, their sense of direction. You know, what are they trying to do? You know, so yeah, I do believe overall there's a great signing, and um, possibly they might bring back James. Uh, they might bring James Harden to the Clippers through a trade, but uh, we'll talk more about that in the next video. So thank you all so much. Please like, subscribe. God bless you all, and have a great day.